Hi, good day everyone. Uh, here's our first video for Year 7 Maths for the year, and today we're going to talk about um, adding positive integers. And let me explain what all of those three words mean, okay? So adding, well we know what adding means. Add means to sum numbers together. Positive, that means we're only talking about positive numbers. So 3 is a positive number, 10 is a positive number, negative 21 is not a positive number. Integers, what integers means is it means whole numbers. So 3 is an integer, 10 is an integer, 3.5 is not an integer, um, pi, if you know what pi is, is not an integer, 2 thirds is not an integer, they're not whole numbers. And so what we're talking about, what this means is we're just adding whole numbers. Um, that's all that that means. So um, that should be um, similar to what you've done in primary school. So all I'm doing today is to review exactly what I just said, um, to review what you did in primary school. So let's just have a look at it. Let's add, add some numbers and, and, and see where we end up. Okay. Um, let's, let's start really, really simple. Okay. So 13 plus 15. So adding 13 plus 15, we need to arrange it so that the ones column are above each other. So the three is in the, the units column, the five is in the units column, and the ones are in the 10 column. So we need to stack them on top of each other um, so that they all match up together. This is an easy example. And then we add up the units column, and then we add up the tens column. Now, if this one gets too big, if in other words, if it goes over nine, we need to carry the one across to here, so that, um, because as we said, after 9, you get up to 10, and, and we need to go into the tens column. So we'll deal with that once we get there. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Nothing to carry here. 1 plus 1 is 2. Nice and easy. That's an easy one, so no problems there. So let's have a look at another one. Okay, 73 plus 18. Let's have a look at this one. So again... We've got the units column here, the tens column here. So let's start with the units column. Always start with the unit column. 3 plus 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. Now 11 is greater than 9, and so what we need to do is spill. It spills into the tens column. Okay? And how we write that is by saying, well, it's 11, so we put 1 in the tens column, because that's what 11 is, and 1 in the units column. In other words, because 11 is equal to 10 plus 1, that one represents the 10, that one represents the 1. So 11, 10, plus 1. So that's how we write that. Okay, uh, fantastic. And then when we add up the tens column, now not only do we have the 7 and the 1, but we've also got this extra one that came from the 11. So we need to go 1 plus 7 plus 1, and that's equal to 9. And so my answer is 91. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's just do uh, a couple more examples. So let's do let's do a three-digit number now, just to make it a bit more uh, interesting. Three hundred and fifty-six plus two hundred and ninety-three. Okay, so let's have a look at that one. Again, it's all exactly how we want it in units, tens, and this time we've got hundreds here. Okay, so units column first. Six plus three is nine. 5 plus 9 is 14. So because 14 is equal to 10 plus 4, that 10 goes here and the 4 goes there. So 14 there. In here we've got 1 plus 3 plus 2, and so we've got 6 down there, 649. Okay, uh, let's have a look at another one. So let's do 16 plus. Uh, 397. Okay, so I just wrote it like that just to show you that we need to just concentrate when there's different numbers of digits between the two. You just got to be careful. Okay, so let's write it down in the stacking file. So 16, let's just be careful with where we write 397. If I wrote 397 like that, that would be wrong because the 7 is the units and the 6 is the units and they need to be above each other. So I'm going to undo that and we need the 7 to be there because that's the units column 
In 397, the 9 is in the tens column and the 3 is here. So it needs to look like that, all stacked up nice and neat and ordered. So let's go through it. Units first. 6 plus 7 is 13, so it's a 1 there and a 3 there. Here we've got 1 plus 1 plus 9. Well, that's 11. So a 1 goes here and a 1 goes here, 11. And then 1 plus 3 is 4 to give you a total of 413. Let me do one more example and that will be the end of today's video. Oh, I might just do a quick little thing on quick addition. Uh, let's do let's do some big ones. Let's do 8, 9, 7, 3 plus 5, 97. Okay, that's a good number there. All right, so let's add these two together. Okay, firstly, units first. 3 plus 7, 10. So 1, 0 for 10. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 9 is 17. So 1 goes here, 7 goes here. 1 plus 9 plus 5 is 15. So we put a 1 here and a 5 here. And then 1 plus 8 is a 9. And so that's how we add those up. Um, in fact, I'd better just do one more example before I go to the other thing I wanted to do. Let's just do um, a bunch. 9, 31, uh, 5, 26, and uh, 6, 89. Okay, so let's just do that. We've got three, three additions here because I just wanted to make sure that we get into the different numbers. Anyway, let's have a look at this. The units. 1 plus 6 plus 9. Well, that's 7 plus 9 is 16. So we put a 1 here and a 6 down here. And then we've got 1, 3, so that's 4, 5, 6, and then plus 8. The total there is 14. So 1 here and a 4 here. And this column here, the hundreds column, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5, plus 6. That's all equal to 21. There's kind of two ways you can do it. There's sort of no thousands column here, so that 2 needs to go in the thousands column, and the 1 here, but there's nothing in that thousands column, there's nothing there, so the 2 just comes down. So if you've ever got nothing there, you can just write 21 straight in there. And 2,146 is your answer for that one. Just a, a quick, quick little thing um, of some sort of clever sort of additions. Um, uh, you might want to be just aware of. Um, okay, so if you're asked to add those numbers together, don't always just jump straight into um, adding things up in order. So if you did this the sort of the hard way, I guess, 22 plus 55, where you'd go, well, that's 77 there, that's sort of 77, and you'd go here, well, that's, oh, I don't know, let's have a look, that's 33, and Oh, this is going to turn out quite nice. <laughs> um, 77 plus 33 will be 110. So you can do that in sort of two steps, adding those two together. Uh, but um, it's sometimes worth just looking if there's any mathematical shortcuts. And in this case, what if we add that one to that one first, and then this one to this one second? So sometimes it's worth looking for that, because the two, remember, is friends of eight. You can add them two really easily together. 22 plus 18 is nice and simple, that's 40. And 55 plus 15 is nice and simple, that's 70. And so they're easy to add together. 4 plus 7 is 11, with a zero on the end, 110. So that's adding. In the next video, I'll be subtracting.